I miss my video camera. I don't like recording with my phone. I find myself looking at me, which then makes it look like I'm looking over there. How you doing, YouTube? It's been a while. You're looking good. Taking care of yourself. Good to see. So I was on Haunter's Hangout the other night and watching the couples edition and the gentleman from Woodland Haunter had said that he wasn't seeing any videos uh, out on YouTube showing tutorials. Uh, people showing what they make but not how they make it. So I decided to step up the plate and show you what I was working on this winter and um, yeah how I do my lighting. So originally I was using PAR 38, uh, 100 watt floodlights. Uh, I was using, built my own cans for them out of paint cans and, and, uh, and sockets. Um, was using uh, gels, theatrical gels to give me different color washes that I was looking for. And um, yeah, so that's what I was using. But it, I, I wasn't happy with all the extension cords that were running all over the yard, that type of thing. And I wanted to go low voltage. So it was last year or the year before that I decided to do um, LED lights. So I will show you the process that I went through when I started and what I've the solution I've come up with now and uh, go from there. Now there are a couple of things that you will need to do this project. You're going to need a belt sander. You just are a belt disc sander. It's the only way that you can round off the material. You're also going to need a... Um, uh, a drill press is really handy as well as having a hand drill and also having a uh, uh, a bandsaw or something similar. You could probably do it with a jigsaw. It'll be rough, but that's of course what the band, uh, the uh, sander is for. But having a bandsaw will just make things that much easier. So uh, here it is. So I start with uh, five millimeter LEDs. I buy them in hundred lots. Buy them from China because they're dirt cheap. I buy a hundred of them. I buy them raw. I do not buy them with the resistors. I buy a whack of resistors from uh, uh, Tata and I get most of my electronic parts from in components from Tata, including some of the ones that you'll see in here. But I don't get my LEDs from Tata. There's, there's cheaper sources out there. So I start with five millimeter LEDs. Um, then what I do is I solder them anode to cathode, anode to cathode. So solder them in series. Um, and then what I do is I uh, attach the appropriate resistor to the cathode side, which I believe is the short lead side, is the cathode. Uh, and so that's goes that's your negative um part of the reason i do is as the resistor adds some length to it and um and uh it helps with some of the uh the balancing out some of the soldering at the um when we're moving a little more forward in it. so that's basically how i start that what i use to mount them in and i've seen all sorts of things out there but this is what i use this is lexan the reason i use lexan is that i get a whack of it for nothing. Um, place I used to work uh, at uses this and has a lot of scrap so I just pick up uh, their scrap pieces and uh, do this. So then what I do is drill holes. Important to use your drill press for this and I make a template and then that template once I um, uh, cut out the discs, the rest of the discs, I will sandwich the template and a blank together put that in my vise and then use my hand drill and just zip 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 all the way through until they're all done and then I hot glue them into it and so you end up with something like this so you can see what I have is I gather those these there are four of those I gather all the anodes together and all the resistors together and I solder those together and then what I do is I coat them with liquid electrical tape 
and that uh, that helps to kind of seal them in just case they get knocked around. I make sure they're well separated from each other as well, but then coat them with electrical tape and hot glue those into there. Now, this is Lexan, as I said, but you don't have to use Lexan. It's, it's quarter inch thick, any quarter inch thick material will do, or it could even be a little thinner, but quarter seems to work really well. It gives a nice surface that you can uh, do it. So rough cut it out. Um, oh, well, let me show you what I use for the body. It is central vacuum pipe. And the great thing about it is that it has end caps and it has these connectors which make kind of a nice uh, lens holder. So as you can see, this is cut and sanded to the diameter of that. And I put uh, gels in here as well when I'm using ultra bright lights, like that. There's a gel in that one. For uh, connection, what I do is I get um, half inch angle iron, and I just uh, drill it and cut it into pieces, about half inch pieces, and then I get half inch straight stock, and I cut that, and I uh, I. Uh, you know, in this case, you see I bent it. This was probably in the haunt, inside haunt last year, the garage haunt. Then I use uh, wing nuts. Connectors I was using this style here. This is interesting. This is a uh, LED mini floods, RGB LED mini floods. So you get a remote control with this. Um, four of them was about 55 bucks, something like that. Um, they're really nice. I use one each on uh, the front pillars and then uh, one on uh, a Celtic cross and one on a uh, cross on a fog chiller, which is a moot point because it's hard to get fog below the ambient temperature. Um, so this, you can see it was just so split wide. Um, this is using RCAs. Everybody has tons of these. I so just um, ask your family and friends. They'll gladly give them up. Probably got tons in their uh, junk drawer. So this is what I used to use. These speaker connections. And I used to have that in this. And why such big cable? I was actually, what I was trying to do was to uh, get a color organ in order to uh, run kind of lights to music. Um, built a little circuit board from something I found online and it didn't work out, you know. It is what it is. At least I tried. Tried and failed. It's okay. At least I tried. So, uh, that's what I used to do. The reason I'm not doing that anymore is when it's like zero degrees out, it can be hard to uh, plug these in when your fingers are cold. So, I've switched to this, to the RCAs. So, I get these from Tata. They're super cheap. Um, each row you can see there has uh, common ground, which is the outside, and then individual center. And so what I've done is I've just uh, soldered all the grounds together and then soldered all the, uh, the uh, centers together. And what I end up with is that. So you can see kind of a huge difference in the, uh, how much room it takes up. So holy shiny thing there. Yeah, it is, but you know, I'm going to paint this up black, and those uh, those floods are designed to only illuminate um, what the, the object that they're shining on. Um, so, uh, so this uh, once I get a coat of paint on that, that'll uh, um, hide up fine. Um, and see what I did here is I made sure and glued all across this section here. Just kind of strengthen it 
And also, uh, before I did that, obviously, I covered this with, uh, again, liquid electrical tape. Um, this will be easy to protect from uh, um, the elements. You know, easy to just wrap it up with in electrical tape, any of the unused ones. Uh, very easy to take care of that way. And um, the other thing is, is this is a solid cube. You know, I didn't even have to mount this into a, uh, into a box. This is solid. This isn't... Um, in putting it into a, to a box isn't going to make it any tougher. That's uh, I was pretty impressed by this. So that will easily do uh, my yard, and the whole thing probably cost around, you know, under twenty dollars for that whole run. And of course, I power it all off of a twelve volt power supply, computer power supply. These things have a ton of amps in them. Well, not a ton, but they have a lot of amps. So, you can run a lot, such as that. So that's what I've accomplished over this last winter. Is uh, I redid all these, redid all these, redid all these. I just got to buy the top caps for that. So that totals to a whole bunch of LED lights. Enough to do easily do my yard and to do my uh, garage walkthrough as well. So, and it's all low voltage, all 12 volt, very safe. So there it is. Have any questions? Uh, post them in the comments. If you're not a subscriber, please do. Happy Halloween.